Knocking down the foul line, Jay. It's 5 0 Philly. Paul George, as we mentioned, and has been under the weather the last few days, not COVID related. Everybody buying in and, and understanding who's doing what has been great to see. Paul George counted and won a three point opportunity for Paul George. We'll see if this is the year, but a lot of competition out west. And right now, the, the, the two best teams in the league aren't the Clippers or the Lakers, it's Utah and Phoenix. And, and able to get back on a roster to to continue his dominating ways uh, offensively because that is a talent that needs to be in this league. Three ball goes for Rondo. Good defense by Mann. And DeMarcus Cousins takes it away. Ahead to Paul George. Corkmoss grabs him and George gets the basket and a foul. Simmons through the lane. Lost at that time. Three on three, Paul George going all the way. And Ben Simmons Whoa. thought he was pushed as George cleans it up inside. Paul George trying to get the step back. Danny Green would not leave his feet, though. Patterson going to try again, hit it again. He certainly is capable of catching fire. He's up on the screen. That's causing these turnovers and deflections. I mean, that's what you want. He's bought in. There's no question to the team defensive concept this year. Tough shot by Paul George. Let's bring in Lisa Salters. Yeah, Dave, I asked Ty Lue what the Clippers have to do to just keep chipping away at that deficit. And he said, you know, just keep playing. And he coached him for 10 games in Orlando. And he said just that experience alone, he knew that T. Lou would be an excellent NBA head coach. They're trying to get their hands in the passing lane or, or at the dribbler, making it tough to get downhill. And then you see the ball moving on the other end. And just over 19 minutes of work. I mean, you know, Cork Maz to be a, a three point shoot shooter, but the lane was wide open because of Embiid. Here's Jackson. Nice skip pass to Paul George. He's got 23 points. Now, excellent look to Zubots for the slam. Ben Simmons, 6.7 rebounds, four assists. Trying to free up Embiid on the perimeter, giving him some room here to drive, and Embiid gets it blocked by Paul George. Oh, we see a lot of guys use the floater. That was an example of you're falling down. Most guys are falling. You still try to just shoot it. So he just a nice, easy floater right into the net. Uh, Ty Lue said they're going to they're going to throw different looks at, at Embiid. And here's another look of just Morris just getting into him, his leg, uh, Embiid's legs and just making it tough for him. But it's Clipper ball down six. Rondo feeds George stepping into a three and it's a three point game. So put him in the center of the floor, maybe pick uh, pin down for him just to get him or pick and roll, to, uh, pick and pop to get him in the center of the floor and let him do his thing. Either shoot the ball. Oh, Paul George is in a rhythm right now. And he's made just about every shot he's taken here in the quarter. He's 11 of 21 now for the field and he's still going 32 now for George. But Philly doesn't have Tobias Harris because of a knee soreness. Second game he's missed this week and also Seth Curry up with a hip injury as Paul George gets a block again. That's the second block against Embiid by Paul George. George has been quiet the last couple minutes, got to 33 points, has missed his last four shots from the floor. Ooh. But he's going to score here, a great pass inside as well, and it's a three-point game with two minutes to go. Batum, boy, tough shot there. Paul George for three, comes up short, gets it right back, pinballs to him.